He is a professional pickup artist. He's appeared on the Comedy Network's Keys to the VIP, and he works for a company that trains men to seduce women. Lovesystems.com. I'm joined on the phone with Derek, a.k.a. Cajun. Derek, how's it going? Ah, uh, good, man. How you doing? I'm not bad. Thanks for joining me here. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Now, when, uh, when someone asks you what you do for a living, for someone who has no idea, how do you explain your career? Um, I kind of say, you know, the easiest way to describe it usually, and it's a good thing this movie came out, was uh, the movie Hitch is actually, you should kind of describe it, because it's kind of a weird job, right? And a lot of people don't even know that those types of things, you know, that type of job exists. So I just kind of explain it by saying, you know, that movie Hitch, well, that's kind of the same thing. Um, and that's usually how I explain it. Or I just say that, uh, you know, I help men meet women. Okay. Now, how do you fall into this career, first of all? I mean, you say uh, you went to Western University there for film. How do you end yeah. up as a dating coach? I mean, where does that... Uh, yeah, I, I moved to Toronto after um, I graduated from Western. And uh, I ended up meeting a guy in a bar that was uh, running one of these workshops. And uh, I was curious about it. And so I sort of um, <clears throat> started talking to him about it. He invited me back. Um, well, well, actually, what happened is kind of a weird story. I actually ended up uh, almost stealing these two girls from him that he was talking to, inadvertently, not knowing what he was doing. And um, so he invited me back uh, uh, to his place later on with the other instructors that were teaching that uh, that night. And then talking to him for a while, and he convinced me to go to one of these seminars that was happening two weeks later in Toronto to uh, help him out. And so I did that, and then um, I just sort of went from there. I kept uh, helping out more seminars until I eventually became an instructor for the company. So you picked up girls in front of him, and that's how you sort of got into this? Yeah, kind of inadvertently, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so were you always the guy growing up then that could just get girls? No, no, I wasn't at all, actually. I was um, I was kind of like a, a drama kid and uh, a bit of a geek, and I guess. I was always kind of <laughs> social. Um, like, I was involved with student council, and I was, you know, I was involved a lot at school, but I never kind of knew what to do with, with women, really. I, I think I'd have girls interested in me. I just didn't know how to go about taking that interest and turning it into something, so... That was something I had to learn, uh, you know, the hard way. So, ah. so yeah, no, I wasn't always like that. And now you're helping people do it an easier way? Oh, sorry? So now you're helping guys learn that an easier way? Yes, yes, definitely easier, yes. it's uh, I, I, I can definitely make, make it a lot easier than it was for me. Now, I got to ask, um, I notice a lot of people in this career field uh, have kind of uh, fake names like Cajun or Mystery. Why is this? <laughs> Um, I don't know why they do it. Uh, I guess, I think there's a little, there's a certain level of, um, you know, it's appealing to have a certain level of anonymity uh, on the internet. So we're not having a real name on, on there and stuff. I just use Cajun because that was sort of my nickname anyway. And um, and I am Cajun. I mean, I'm Acadian, which is the Canadian equivalent to Cajun. So. Oh, okay. um, but I think most of them just use it so, they don't, so people don't know the real names on the internet. What's that like when you're in a bar, though, and you're like, hi, my name's Cajun or Mystery? I, mean, uh, I, 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 never, yeah, I never introduced myself as Cajun. I always introduced myself as my real name, Derek. Oh, okay, okay, that works a lot better. Yeah. Uh, now, I, <laughs> yeah. off the top, I, uh, I said, you know, pickup artist. I used that to describe you. Is that something you would use to describe yourself, a pickup artist? No. No, I wouldn't describe myself as a pickup artist. I think that's a little bit, I think that term has, uh, you know, a certain connotation with it that mm -hmm. I don't necessarily like to associate myself with. Um, but, uh, I mean, lots of people refer to us as that, um, but no, I don't refer to myself as that. But you do have sort of tricks of the trade that you use to pick up women, right? Sure, yeah. I mean, most of my tricks, if you call them that, aren't necessarily, you know, there's not really any level of facetiousness going on. It's Most of the stuff that I teach is stuff like body language mm -hmm. and, um, you know, inner beliefs and sort of self-confidence and stuff like that and humor. So things that I think are entirely natural, not necessarily like I don't really teach that many like uh, lines or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think that um, for the most part, I mean lines lines are great when you can't think of something to say, and I do give you know lines like that uh, to my uh, my clients. But for the most part, I try to uh, teach men to be more honest, and I think that's sort of one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is actually a very attractive trait. You know, being honest and being. Having the, uh, the, I guess, courage to be honest with people and to, I guess, communicate your true intentions as opposed to trying to walk on eggshells and, you know, a lot of things that guys tend to do typically in bars with women. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, because yeah, when because when you hear that you are on keys to the VIP and everything, there's two things that could come into your mind: either a Will Smith from Hitch or those guys from v- the keys to the VIP walking around and using pickup lines. Yeah, and you're saying yeah. you're more to the Hitch side of it, right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely go towards that. Like, I mean, here's the thing: like, I, I see people that um, you know in my in my field. I'm not going to name any names. Like, I see all these videos on the internet of these guys that. I think a lot of people associate me with that. Those guys like creep me out. Like this, uh, <laughs> most of the guys in that in the in the field, I guess, are are really creepy and like creep the hell out of me. So I make an effort to really distance myself from those guys because I don't really like associating myself with you know these uh, pickup artists. I guess if you call them that. But if so, they, if you're creeped out by them, wouldn't women be creep, creeped out by them too? I would assume so. Yeah, <laughs> I think, and, and I, I've had the, the opportunity to meet a lot of these guys, and yeah, they they creep the hell out of me, and I, I don't even really want to talk to them. And a lot of times, I'll even tell my my clients now that like I can usually tell within five minutes of meeting someone, a guy, if he actually has any sort of skill with women. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, these guys that are supposedly you know um, amazing at this stuff uh, aren't really at all, at least from my experience. But again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know. Um, Talk down on these guys because uh, you know I don't. It's not really something I think is is uh, beneficial to anybody. But uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I like to distance myself from those types of guys. Now I know a lot of people that would say you know that sort of thing doesn't work. The dating coach, all this and that. It just takes being yourself and confidence. Uh, right. What do you say to that? Um, I, that's sort of what this is. A lot of like a lot of what I teach is basically you know how to deal with fear, how to deal with. Um, I mean, I do teach obviously much more sort of, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, like body language and, and things like that. But for the most part, it comes down to self-confidence. That really makes, makes or breaks an interaction in the first few minutes, is if you're scared or not. So I think a lot of what you know, I, I teach is just dealing with fear, which I think is the most important thing, having self-confidence and not being scared of what you're doing. Okay, so the guys coming to these, uh, these training seminars and boot camps to pick up women, what kind of guys are they? Are they the guys you'd see on the street and be like, that guy does not get anyone or... Or no, they regular no, average actually, Joes? Yeah, most of it. I mean, it, it, it runs the gamut uh, for, 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 you know, for uh, the types of guys we get. But for the most part, they're just regular dudes. They're just guys you meet, you know, in any sort of place. Uh, they're not guys that live in their parents' basement and, you know, are like 40 years old or anything. Most of the guys are just normal guys. Um, and, you know, I think that sort of speaks a little bit about, uh, you know, the current sort of culture we have. And I think just for the most part, regular normal guys are just sort of questioning whether or not, um, you know, like this is one of those things that I think most guys can, can definitely use work on. Most are scared to admit it, but, you know, it's not like these guys are all sort of recluses that don't even know how to talk to a girl. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time, most of the things that I, um, that I, that I teach are just things sort of like, like common sticking points. So a lot of the guys that they don't really have a problem maybe starting a conversation with a girl, but maybe they need to know how to escalate things after they talk to them, or maybe they need to know sort of, you know, logistics about how to sort of make mm-hmm. logistics in their favor for, for whatever they want. So, you know, for the most part, it's not necessarily just teaching guys how to, uh, you know, start a conversation. It's more advanced stuff. And then sometimes you get those guys too. But it, it really, like I said, it runs again for guys. Okay. Well, it's the new year, and uh, a lot of our listeners are probably, you know, they got New Year's resolutions, which one might be uh, getting more dates in the new year. Sure. So run me through it here. How do I pick up women? How do you pick up a Yeah, okay. let's do well, this thing that you do at the seminar here. Okay, so, I mean, the seminar's uh, a whole weekend, so obviously I can't get into everything, but right. uh, I'll, I can give you a few pointers. Okay. Um, so the first thing, you actually have to start going out and meeting people. So whether that be out in the nightclubs or out in, in your regular sort of everyday life in the grocery store or when you're at the gym or something like that, you have to make an effort to, to meet people. Um I always try to tell people, like, try to have an actual um, real conversation with someone every single day. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be a girl you're trying to hit on. It can be anybody. Mm-hmm. But try to have a real, start to try to foster this personality that you're just someone who, just, who can just talk to people. Um, you know, whenever I go to the grocery store or I'm in line at the bank or um, any sort of thing where I'm, I'm going to I have to have an interaction with someone, I always try to make it a real interaction, even if it's something as simple as talking about the weather or whatever, but just try to be a real person. Um, and you'll find that when you start doing that, you sort of adopt this personality of someone that it's very easy for you to talk to people, whether it be in the daytime, like I said, or even at night in a, in a club or something. You just sort of adopt this personality where you're just sort of, 
you know, you're more social. So that would be one of the, the easiest things you can do is sort of start, you know, um, adopting this personality of someone who, who goes out and talks to people. Uh, the second thing is we all have sort of that idea in our head, like this person inside our head that is sort of the, the best version of ourselves, you know. Like whenever you're in a situation, you think, oh, man, I wish you would have said that. Yeah. I wish I would have did that, did that in that situation. Well, we should start trying to be that person. And it's hard sometimes because a lot of the times we don't do those things, not because we couldn't think of what to say. That is sometimes the case. But for the most part, it's because we're too scared. We're too scared to do that, say that thing, or do that thing we always we wish we would have done. That ideal version of ourselves would have done that. So you have to start doing that. And after a while, you start making these decisions on a conscious level every day where it's like, you know what? I should have said that. You know, we'll screw it. I'm going I'm to actually say that this time or next time. You may fail. In fact, you probably will fail, but you'll have experience doing it. So the next time you do it, it won't be as bad, and you'll keep doing it until eventually you just become that person in your head, that person that would do all those things. And um, it's, it, it just starts on a day-to-day basis. You have to, you know, no one's going to turn into this a pickup artist over, over a weekend or anything, even if they take my course. But you do learn the tools, and you learn sort of the right mindsets to have in order to be able to, to you know, adopt that personality and, and become that person eventually. Uh, so, yeah, I guess those are two things you could do right now. Um, I mean, I could give you a bunch of little tips and things like, you know, that would, uh, quick fixes and things that would definitely help you um, if you'd like me to go into those. But for the most part, I think those are two things that can really change your life uh, if you start living, if you start incorporating them on a day-to-day basis. Uh, what do you think the biggest mistake guys make when they're trying to pick up a girl at a bar or wherever? Um, probably it comes down to trying to hide their true intentions, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, like, I mean, girls know, right? Uh, they, they, they know what you're thinking most of the time. If you're thinking in your head, oh, man, I really hope I don't screw this up. I really hope I don't screw this up. Well, it doesn't matter what you say, or whatever line you're going to use. If you're thinking that in your head, I hope I don't screw this up, or I hope she likes me, or I hope she doesn't think I'm weird, that's literally what you're going to communicate to her. Mm. So I'm not saying you should actually communicate to her that you're, that you, you know, you're scared of talk to her or something, but you should at least be honest. Um, and I think women tend to respect that for the most part. If you're honest with them, so instead of going up to a girl and trying to find some you know, uh, BS excuse to, to start a conversation, just be honest with her. Just go up to her and say, hey, listen, I, just, you know, I saw you with her and I thought you were, I thought you were cute, so I wanted to come over and talk to you. What's your name? Okay. Just, you know, that, that's a lot easier than going up and trying to come up with some BS reason to start a conversation where all you're really communicating is that you want to talk to her and you like her, but you're too nervous to admit it. Hmm. So I think that, that, that sort of, um, that was a lot better in, in, in the long run, just being honest. So again, it comes back to honesty and confidence. Right, right. And I think mean, that's, that's the biggest thing, right? It's one thing to be honest, but it's another, it's another thing to be honest and totally confident in your honesty. To tell a girl you think she's cute and not, you know, and it's okay in your head to be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what am I doing? This is so scary. But as long as you can sort of, you know, hide that down inside for a little bit um, until you get into a real conversation with her, at least, uh, and by then it usually goes away anyway. Um, and th- I mean, that's the thing: getting experience, sort of biting that bullet, getting experience, sort of going up to girls and just you know, having the confidence to, to, to say that. And like I said, you're probably going to fail the first few times because you'll be you know, scared as hell. But after a while, it goes away, and you start realizing it's not so scary. And you start wondering why you're scared in the first place. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that uh, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Now let's go back to these boot camps with uh, lovesystems.com. Paint a picture for me. What happens? Is it just like an hour seminar or, or three days, you said? Or is there more to it than yeah, that? It's, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty involved. It's, it's, it takes place over a weekend, the, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, all three days where there's a seminar portion, it's five hours. So it runs from uh, 